Hello, everybody. Kempson Cross and Haley Sutton at the Carroll College PE Center in Helena, Montana. Let's recap the night where the Carroll College Fighting Saints got a sweep over the Providence Argos, starting with the women who got a 30-point victory here tonight, a statement win for the Fighting Saints. Well, not a good start for the Argos from the beginning. It was, you know, the first quarter... Not bad from both sides, but that second quarter, we talked about it on the broadcast, was just a dagger. I can't remember the exact numbers, but it was like a 20 to 9 difference there in scoring. And ultimately, that's what led to their demise, a 30-point loss. And Himmelberg and the rest of his squad going to go back very unhappy, back to the drawing board. We use that word a lot today, but that's what the Argos have to do. One of the things we talked about was their team being so young. And it's hard to travel a team of sophomores and freshmen to a powerhouse like Carroll. Danny Wagner once again shows up and shows out with the SWX Montana truck out back as she was our player of the game for the women. Now over to the men, a much different game, a 5-0 start for the Providence men, but the Saints men were able to pick up the 72-67 to victory when all was said and done. And, of course, Jovan Slavonchinen with 19 points and 18 rebounds, our player of the game there. It's unfortunate for the Argos because they had a player of the game, I think, in themselves, and Jackson Hashley finishing with 19 points. That crucial fifth foul coming in the last five minutes of the game. A tough break, but what a match from both of these teams, specifically the Saints. My favorite part of this game was the last 30 seconds, how they exploded to get those last final and ultimately crucial points. So a good match. Both teams will head back to the drawing board, and we got some shakeups in the Frontier Conference. And of course, the home crowd coming to Carroll's aid as well. They remain in the top two, among the top two spots in the Frontier Conference on each side, and they were most successful tonight as well. Thanks for being here once again.